Hello guys, welcome back. So guys, before starting this session, I would like to tell you that my throat is not in a well shape. That the reason the voice is not coming as normal as it was. It is coming little thick. This session I supposed to record seven days earlier, but I got down with cold, cough, and fever, and because of that reason, this session gets delayed. Now today I am feeling little better, so that I thought that I can. Record this session for you as it is very important topic. So without wasting much more time, let's start this topic. So guys, in this topic, we are going to learn about how to do the custom error logging in Power Automate as it is one of the important requirement whenever you are working with Power Automate project because Power Automate run history will vanish after 28 days. But in some scenarios, we need the run history for the audit purpose, and that the reason. Required custom error logging mechanism. So let's jump into the SharePoint portal where we will perform our first step where we will create a list that will hold the logged information. If in case any error happened, the error will be logged to the list which we are going to create now. So let's jump into the SharePoint portal. So, guys, I am inside the SharePoint portal and over here I am going to create a list and I will call it as flow log list or we can say that flow error log list flows error log list would be better name once you provide the name you will click on create title column holds the name of the flow on which error happened so that means that this list is going to be used by many of the flows whichever we are going to implement for our business for this scenario i am going to consider it for this flow only for the example purpose but you can use the same list for any of the flows. Next, we need to specify the column. So, this column holds a step's name on which step the error happened. So, that is going to be single line of text. So, I will call it as steps name or say step name and that is going to be single line of text. Click on save. Next, we will capture the status. I will come over here and again select single line of text and status it will holds the information about the status what is the status and this is going to be single line of text click on save now next we are going to create a multi line of text which will holds the error message what error message the power automate pros so that i am going to capture and the error message is going to be little large so we must have to create the multi line of text over here and i will give it a name error message click on save and at last i am going to hold the url for the flow and that is going to be of type hyperlink and this holds the run history url so over here i will click on save and we are done so we are done with the list creation now let's jump into the power automate portal so how we will go there i will come here click on this context menu this three dots integrate power automate see your flows so this will open the power automate portal this is one of the way you can go to your power automate portal and over here i am going to use the same power automate program which we have been following since many sessions i will click on this pencil icon it will open the flow into the edit mode and over here i will go to the catch block and within that i will introduce some more new steps to capture the error inside the sharepoint list the first step i am going to put this at the end and then over here i am going to introduce an action over here that is the filter action from the data operation so i will write filter and this filter array i will use and over here i will give it a name filter application logic because i am going to capture the error from the application logic if any error happens so from where we will get the information so over here i will write this expression i will write result of and which block i am going to get grab the result the application logic this block so if any error happened into this particular scope that i am going to capture so i will mention over here application logic make sure that that is inside the quotes single quotes i will click on ok now once it is being done next we need to specify this expression so i am going to create an array 
so how i will create the array i will write this expression create array and array of field as well as timed out so any of this exists to then we can make the array so over here i will tell that create array field and timed out if it contains within the status status of the current item so i will write over here item and i will mention status over here then it will filter it as per the status and status should contain field as well as timed out so that is what i am doing over here so i am creating an array over here which on the basis of the field and timed out status so now we are done with this step now next we need to create a loop and that is going to be applied to each loop so i will select control over here and over here i will select apply to each and over here i will iterate the filter application logic and over here i will specify an expression and expression is going to be body and body of filter underscore this one application logic application underscore logic now click on ok and within that i am going to create an entry inside the sharepoint list so how i will do that let's look into that i am going to call an o data query called create item which is from the sharepoint connector so over here i will call create and over here i will select create item and over here i will specify the custom value so i will introduce the custom value over here i am going to introduce that error flow error log list name i will use the same name and this is going to be the list name you remember that we have created this list so i will copy the name of this list and i will put inside the value of this so now it is being done i will copy the key name over here i will come back and first i will specify the site address you remember that how to do that i need to specify variables and the variables if you remember that where application context and the key is site address and you will see that i have specified the site okay now over here i will specify the list name where i am keeping my error information and over here i will write variables that is again where application context and the value is going to be the key which we have just created that is flow error log list name okay now within that i am going to create the json value so the json value holds what it will holds the first information it holds the title so over here i will specify double quotes title and title over here expression i am i need to write this one extract flow info the output of this one so i will write it like this i will come over here and i will go to the dynamic content let me write the outputs and within that i will come over here i will Go, I will search for this one extract flow info. I will select this one, make sure that I will remove this one. And from this, I am going to extract the tags. There is something called tags key, and from the tags key, I am going to extract the display name that is flow display name. So, this key holds the name of the flow where error occurred. That is what I am grabbing over here. So, I am grabbing the extract flow information which we have created in our earlier session and what does it holds i will show you first let me click on ok over here and if you will come here then you remember that not this one we have specified the workflow the workflow function will return us the information about the flow whatever the flow which is executing it gives us the details about the flows so that is what it is giving us and now from this I am extracting this information where we are having the tags and tags key holds the display name that is flow display name so it will return me this name excel uploader tool and that I am storing inside the title once it is being done the next information I want is the step name so I will come over here I want step name will hold the name of the step where error occurred so that is going to be applied to each only so i will come here and i will simply tell that item and i will mention name 
so this will give me the current item name so this will return me the step name where or error occurs so i will click on ok now once it is being done the next information i am looking for is the that is status so let's write for the status i will come here write a status and a status from where we will get the status from the current item itself so again the expression is going to be item and this is going to hold the status okay now next we are having the error message so for the error message we need to write here error message and over here now for the error message we need to write the expression over here and that is again the same item current item and we are having the key key is called error and within that error key we are having another key that is message so over here i need to specify message click on ok so it put in wrong place so we need to make sure that it should be coming over here so let me quickly write it and this is going to be the error and this is going to be the message click on ok now we are at right place now next we are having the run history url for the run history url it is pretty much very straightforward first i will grab the run history url field name need to specify over here run history url and over here i need to grab this output so i will come over here and i will select this output so now we are done make sure that you are putting the comma over here else you will get this flow check error now you will not get because i put comma over here so guys now we are done with the creation of the custom logging so i will tell that create error log into oh, error log list now we are done save it now let's run it so as usual this is going to fail because as i mentioned that we have the excel already there and i am going to rerun it when we try to rerun it it will throw an error because it will not allow to create the same name table and that is what we are doing inside this step it will throw the error at this step create table step because it will try to create the same table which already it has created let me collapse it now let's run it test i will come over here select this one test it now it is executing it and you will see that it has failed now it went to the failed block and over here you will see that it has executed this block and let's go back to the sharepoint list over here and you will see that it has given us the error where it happened in this flow on which step create table step what happened failed but error message it haven't returned me let me verify that why we are not able to grab it so if you click on this run url history then it will take you to the run history url where it has failed so this is very handy now let's verify that why it has haven't captured this one so to do that i will come over here so over here i will come and i will go inside that and uh, here i am it is returning me null that means we are doing some mistake over here so let me verify that o over here you will see that filter application logic so we are doing some mistake over here so see here it is telling that inside the create table and uh, if you will closely look into that we are referring error and message but over here you will see that it is a part of the body so let's do the change inside the expression i will come over here click on edit and over here i will go here and within the error message i will select this one and i will introduce body over here question mark and click on update and now i will save it again and let's try to test it again and see that whether it is capturing the error message or not so i will click on test select this one test and over here it failed over here see that it has captured the error let's come back here and again we are not able to capture the error message that means we are not reaching to the right place so how we will make sure that we will capture the right information so the thing which we need to analyze is that so over here we are having the body and body is the part of outputs it look like so 
what you can do you can identify the structure of this json and accordingly you can design your query so what i mean to say that let me show you so let me copy this and go back to the notepad so over here i opened a notepad paste it over here and let me closely identify this so over here you will see that we are having the outputs over here and if you will closely look into that this holds so output holds the body key so that means this is the part of the output so we need to go one level further up to extract this error message so what i mean to say that we need to again access the outputs also and within that output we need to access the body and from the body we need to access the error and from the error we need to access the message then only we are able to reach to this place so now let's try third time so i will come here click on edit go back to the error message select this one and i will come over here and this time i am going to use outputs so my information exists at this location outputs within outputs body within body we are having error key and within error key we are having message click on update and hopefully this time it will work save it so guys this is all about playing with json if you really want to learn about power automate you have to keep your json concept very clear so that it will be very useful for designing any kind of expressions within power automate so let's click on test like this one test over here this is still executing it failed now this block is executing and you see that it gets executed successfully so it will make an entry over here and voila we are having the error message so guys the lesson learned over here is you have to reach to the right key with the proper path and that is what i wanted to show you so this way you can create the custom error logging mechanism within power automate and this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session so on this note i am stopping over here and i am very sorry my voice is not correct it is still recovering but this session was very important session and i wanted to complete this session because i have been waiting for this session to record since last 7 days and today i feel better so i thought that i will record for you so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then